Hi everybody, thanks for joining me for today's video. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, if it is still that time of year when you're watching this video. I thought this would be great timing to talk about the Narcissist Grand Finale Christmas. For those of you who know what that is, I'm very, very sorry. For those of you who are living this right now, maybe you don't even know it, I'm really sorry. Hopefully this will, I don't know, just kind of validate your experience pre-warn you, let you know how much worse it can get? I don't know. I love your feedback and your examples. Let us know, you know, what you've been through and what you've gone through. These experiences are horrific and traumatic. Um, the grand finale is the discard of all discards. We know that narcissists, when they're done with you, they throw you away like garbage. But some narcissists, some toxic narcissists, sociopaths, well, they may never just throw you away in the garbage. They may have to destroy you. Make sure that you're not good for anyone else. Yeah? See, psychopaths will walk away never to think of you again. Okay? Some of you guys believe that you're, you know, I, and I'm talking specifically about personality disorders. I can't imagine anybody else doing any of this stuff unless they have a cluster B personality disorder. Really. I mean, this, you know. But a lot of people believe that their narcissist doesn't think about and doesn't care about it because they're with somebody else and all this stuff. No. No. These people don't heal from things. They have loss. It doesn't matter what they think of you. They, they have loss, and this is how they deal with it because they can't look at themselves. But the psychopath doesn't really care at all. Doesn't matter. The, <clears throat> the borderlines and histrionics, they ruined your life during the relationship and after by smearing you at least towards the end of the relationship and smearing you after the whole time during and after then they abandon you but the toxic narcissist sociopath is a little different they'll make elaborate plans for the end they devalue you right you like all other things and objects in this world fade or you simply see them for who they are. They carry so much toxic shame. They hide that and reject that self of theirs inside. And if you finally see that, they'll hate you too. But they believe they were so good to you. They just can't throw you away. It's like resentment, anger, bitterness, and their own self-hatred. They know it's over. And abuse goes to the top. They will break you down emotionally, mentally, physically, financially, everything they can do across the board. It'll hit you so hard because they don't want you anymore. They're done. They have plans to move on. They aren't going to tell you. They want to destroy you and leave destruction behind them. They will leave after the smile. For those of you who know what that is, I'm very sorry. They ruined you. And they're finally satisfied. That's when they can leave. And if they can do it during Christmas, right? If you even have any fa friends or family left that you might celebrate it with, they'll leave you there with them, hurting and pain. Or they'll try to get rid of all of them if they can so that you're by yourself after you're destroyed. But the smile after you're finally hurting so bad, you're begging for something, just some kind of just peace. And then they smile. Oh, so satisfied with themselves that they won. Timing is everything to them. Most common times I've seen them leave partners after even decades of service to them is when their sick illness, disease, surgery, you, the victim, you want to talk about no good to someone anymore. Well, shoot, now you're sick, diseased, you're going to die soon, or you need surgery, expensive, and need to take care of you, help you. Ugh. I mean, right? Isn't that when we put our dogs down? Major holiday, Christmas. Financial ruin. This is very important. Very important to understand this. We lose relationships. We have job and financial problems, and we lose belongings. And our health in relationships like this, guys. All of it. The stress. 
the stress. We lose relationships. There's not enough time for other people in my life anymore because of them. We may lose interest in our own life and things that we do for ourselves and plans we had and relationships we've had. The narcissist interferes, don't they? They tell you bad things about them. They, won't, they don't want you to be around them. They call you the same names they call them. And then they go to them and they smear you, don't they? They smear, your, smear you to your family, to your friends, to your co-workers, people at church, whatever, whatever you do. They want everyone to hate you. You may lose your job. When personal life becomes so bad, so hard to manage and so stressful, it will start to seep into our work life to where we can't manage that either. We may have problems where we get fired. We may just quit. We may have our own business that goes down the drain. It's so stressful that we might have financial obligations with them. They may cost us a lot of money in bills, debt, living, traveling, gifts. It's like slowly wearing us down in a relationship anyway, right? They're so exploitative. They're going to exploit your mind, your emotions, your money, your relationships, your belongings. They'll steal even pets. They'll take them with them. They'll sell them. They'll break them, destroy them. Your health leading cause of death is stress. Leading cause of death is disease caused by stress or it might drive us to addictions. It deteriorates our mental, emotional, then physical health, period, okay? They will almost always have their or your replacement waiting close by, always. Suitors, they will fall back on dual responsibilities the two of you have, right? They'll tell you they're making payments, they won't make payments, they'll just take the money. Do this uh, October, November, December, maybe starting as June, July. They'll hide any notices you guys receive that you owe them money. May lose things because of that. They may quit their own job and bleed you dry, if they even had one. And this can start, like I said, months before Christmas. They know it's over. They will try to cause as much stress as possible to you from constant gaslighting, telling you, no, you're crazy. No, you're wrong. No, you didn't. Yes, you did. Smearing you to everybody and in front of you. Smearing you right in front of you. Imagine staying on the phone for hours, calling everyone you know, talking just horrible about you all day on Christmas. That's your Christmas. Constant fighting, 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 constantly starting fights, cheating. They, they will almost always want you to catch them cheating. They'll, if they're not even cheating, they will make you think they're cheating, hiding underwear, smelling like perfume or cologne, triangulating you. They make plans with you for Christmas and then they wait. By the time they leave, Maybe Christmas Eve, maybe Christmas Day. You have depression, anxiety, confusion, shame, guilt, self-doubt. You have lost them. You have lost maybe your home, maybe your house, maybe your belongings, maybe no more money. Maybe you're in debt. Maybe you lost your job and any and all support you have had. Legal trouble you might be in. They love to call the police, make false claims, get you arrested, things like this. Imagine that. Do you see how all of it, all of it, you see how they just wear down everything and bleed everything dry and exploit everything all at once leading up to one special day, leaving you there on Christmas by yourself or with other people just looking awful. Oh my God, you're what? Your wife, your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend moved out, left you just today, yesterday. Did they say anything? No. Well, they were talking bad about you. Yeah. Imagine you just have nobody to contact. 
no way to get help. No insurance, you have no more cash, you can't eat. Just imagine how bad that can get. I guess that's where you say it always could get worse. And believe me, it can always get worse. It can get a lot worse than that. Yeah. Uh, it's Christmas in a couple of days. That's when this video has, has come out. And those of you who are with abusive people still in relationships with them, I, I, you know, it does no good to make plans with them, celebrate with them, and pretend that it's going to be okay. You're better off just taking off and going to the beach in an Airbnb for the weekend, for the week. If you are recovering from a relationship in last Christmas, last several Christmases have been bad, and so your brain is worried and stressed and scared and triggered by this Christmas, spend it only with people who don't hurt you, period. Best advice I can give you. Try to spend it with somebody, a little bit of it, something like that, with people that don't hurt you. That's it. I don't care if this is your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your family that abuse you. Don't spend it with them. You owe nobody anything except yourself to protect yourself. Okay? Reach out for support. If you guys can afford it, get it, hire it, you need it. Yeah? It's one day, it'll come and go. But as long as nothing bad happens this year, next year won't be as scary. Okay? It helps to give little gifts. It helps to decorate a little bit. Change things, do something way different than you have been. That helps. But just get through it. As long as it's not bad, next year won't feel as bad. Okay? Um, yeah, for those of you who are suffering, you're alone. I'm really, really sorry. Know that everybody can heal from this, okay? We just need some people around us. All right? Reach out for people. Reach out for help. Happy holidays. Thank you, guys. Uh, if you could, please give me your own experiences. Share, like, sub and uh, sub to the video and to the channel if you can. Happy holidays, guys. Love yourself first. See you next year.